overflows. Help in meditation. Someone asked, why does a master help aspirants in meditation? A master is one who has attained to fruition. The flower has blossomed. The search of life is over now. He would like you to attain to this fruition as well. He may have stumbled in his search and certainly a master before he reaching to that state stumbles. Buddha struggled to stumble for six long years. He may have stumbled in his search. Now that he is light and awareness, he would like your inner journey to begin so that one day you can attain to fruition. Certainly the master delights in helping the seekers along the path. And in this, his presence becomes a great help. There is no why to it or any purpose behind it. In helping the seekers, there is no gain. Having attained to fruition, there is nothing left, nothing more left for the master to gain. When Arjun asked Krishna, Krishna says there is nothing in the three universe that I cannot get or I need it. Yet still I engage in actions because men follow my path. Name partha asti trish loke shukinchana. I have nothing to gain in the three universe. After fruition, after being attaining to the state of light and awareness, there is nothing for the master to attain. He simply enjoys and rejoices. For a master, it is like planting seeds in the garden and waiting for flowers. When you flower, he rejoices. It is gardening. When somebody flowers, it is sheer delight, not only for that person, but for the master as well. And I share, there is no goal to it. If you feel like a master, I am not going to be frustrated. If you do not flower, that too is okay, because flowering is natural and is spontaneous. It cannot be forced. It is opening of the buds, opening of the bud, its petals from within. You cannot open a bud forcibly in forcing the bud to open. You can destroy the very possibility of fruition. It may look like a flowering, however in reality it is not flowering. It is out of ecstasy or delight. I sing in the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, in the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, oft do I use the manure of compassion. Oft do I use the manure of compassion and then one day, seed of awakening I sow, and then one day, seed of awakening I sow, with the rain of thy infinite bliss, with the rain of thy infinite bliss, the seed shall certainly sprout one day. The seed shall certainly sprout one day. And then, 
and then reckoning shall reap the fruits and then reckoning shall reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening as bliss as the dawn of new awakening as bliss the whole world moves existence moves into eternity however mind is the only thing that moves in time existence is moving into the depth and or the height and mind is moving backward and forward in a horizontal straight line just like reversing or going forward the vehicle within a limited space mind has a certain space it is like a railway engine shunting purposelessly indeed horizontal movement is sleep and unconsciousness if you can move vertically that is awareness be in the moment bring your total being in that moment do not allow the past memories to interfere or the future imaginations to come in like the clouds over the infinite inner sky neither the past is there because it is buried deep within nor the future jesus says let the dead bury the dead he was he asked one of his disciples to come and follow me he was a fisherman come and follow me he said let me do the funeral rites cremation of my father at this jesus says let the dead bury the dead because the people who are engaged in that formalities of doing the cremation and all these things are all dead the past is no more why are you worried about it it is part of your memory why do you go on chewing it again and again are you mad it is no more than chewing the past is just in your mind just in your memory that is why shankar says mano buddh ahankara chittani naham i am neither the mind nor the storehouse of the memory nor the egocentric identity i am neither of these the past is just in your mind as memory when you experience something you the information immediately goes to the mind to process it the future is not yet what are you doing thinking about the future that which is not as yet how can you think about it what can you plan about it whatsoever you do about it is not going to happen and then frustration breeds in because the whole existence or totality has its own plan why do you try to have your own plans against the plans of the entire existence why do you have your own plans against the plans of the entire existence jesus says let thy will prevail someone had said a hindi couplet malik teri raza rahe malik is referring to god the existence let thy will alone remain neither i remain nor my existence the egocentric existence remain 
एज लॉन्ग एज जब तक बदन में जान एज लॉन्ग एज देर इज लाइफ फोर्स फ्लोइंग इन दॉडी एंड ब्लड फ्लोज इन दीन्स आई मे ऑलवेज बी मूवड गाइडेड बाई दाई विल एन अपना